Today we're going to be talking about the product rule, which is a, a method you use for finding a derivative when you have uh, two functions that are being multiplied together, or a product. Um, so it looks a little complicated when you write it all out. We're saying here that the um, you've got the two functions f of x and g of x. You take f of x as it is and multiply it by the derivative of g of x, and then you add g of x as it is times the derivative of f of x. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much which order you do this in. You're just going to have two pairs that correspond to the, you know, the pair that you start with. The original and the derivative in both combinations that are possible. So we're going to start with kind of a simple problem. You could actually foil this to start off, but we're going to not do that so that we can see how this, um, this product rule works. Uh, I'm going to call this one f of x and this one g of x. And then I will um, match them up in, into this grouping here, and I'll, I'll try to put the derivatives in red uh, so that you can follow what's going on. So the idea is that I first write f of x. So that's going to be 2x squared plus x. And then I'm supposed to put the derivative of g prime of x. So this is going to be uh, just 4. Right, the derivative of 4x minus 3. And then I'm going to add to that uh, g of x, which I have here in green, is 4x minus 3. And now times the derivative of f of x, f prime of x. So this will be 4x plus 1. And then it just becomes an algebra problem where you just multiply all this out. So right here, this is uh, g prime of x, this is f prime of x, so both derivatives in red. In green we've got g of x, and in blue over here I've got f of x. So that's, you know, falling into this same pattern up here, is the way I wrote mine out. So to finish this off, I would distribute this 4, and I've got 8x squared plus 4x, and then plus, uh, I've got a foil over here, so that's going to be 16x squared plus 4x minus 12x minus 3. And then I want to combine all of the like terms. Um, so these two will give me 24x squared. So I've got 4x, 4x, and a minus 12x. So I've got a minus 4x in there, and then minus 3. And you just leave your answer like that. And then remember that this is f prime of x, which is... So we've got an expression here that gives us the slope of this anytime that we that we want it, any x value that we want. A little less explanation, see if you can follow along here. So I'm going to start with my first part f of x. I've got 3x squared minus 8x. And then the derivative of the second part would be 9x squared. And I'm going to add to that the second part. over here, 27x to the 4th minus 72x cubed, and then plus a foil over on this side, so that's going to be 18x to the 4th minus 24x cubed, uh, minus 60x in the middle there, and then plus 8. And if I start combining like terms here, I've got 45 x to the fourth there, and then minus 96 x cubed minus 60 x plus 8. Oh my god, 
Uh, just real quick, in case you um, saw a problem like this one, and you tried to use the product rule, but it doesn't really apply here. I mean, you don't need it, not that it doesn't apply. You'll see that it's okay. If I, if I went through this process, this would tell me that I should do uh, three times two plus two x minus one times the derivative of three, which is zero. So if I plug all this in, you know, together and simplify it, I'm going to get 6 as my answer, right? Which is the exact same thing you would get if you just took this derivative without using the product rule, right? You just distribute that 3 in there and have 6x minus 3, the derivative of that is 6. So as long as you're applying the product rule correctly, it, um, it's, not, it's never wrong to use it. It might just be inefficient.